And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Celestial Invoke Targon um, goodness. That's what we got going on here with this Zoe Aurelian Soul deck. We're playing 38 Targon cards just two Noxus cards with two Scorched Earth to be able to give us a nice landmark removal spell that can also kill some damage units if we need to. So we're splashing that one, but we're going to be playing a Mountain Scryer deck. That's our Targon Allegiance card that has Invoke and have the Celestial cards cost one less. We got a Aurelian Soul that's going to be creating some super cool star charts for us and some other uh, Celestials. And then, of course, a Aurelian Soul at the top end also creating Celestials being super powerful. Um, these Targon cards are great. You know, you get Pale Cascade, you get Hush, two of the very best cards in the format. Guiding Touch also just, you know, let's throw draw one on everything. <laughs> that's kind of Targon's... Uh, that's Targon's region. Just throw, draw one on everything. It's pretty awesome. Um, we get some more invoke cards with Spacey Sketcher and Solari Priestess. We have good removal with Sunburst. I guess Star Shaping gets us some more Celestials and even Eclipse Dragon. Plus, we have the the nice combo of Eclipse Dragon Daybreak on seven, make a Really Soul cost two less, and then a Really Soul on eight. That's really powerful. Getting a Really Soul that early. So that's our deck. It should be pretty awesome. Um, expecting good stuff here, and uh, we're gonna go try it out. So let's go play some games and ranked with Targon. Zoe Aurelian Soul. Oh, we should start. All right, I'll start prediction for y'all. Okay, we are playing against another Aurelian Soul deck. They are going to have the Grand Plaza. We're gonna keep Zoe and Pale Cascade. And kind of look for the Scorched Earth. Honestly, I was thinking about this. Okay, I... Yeah, I shouldn't play Zoe on turn one. I should play Zoe on turn two. Yeah, I should be playing Zoe this turn. So that then I can have Phil Cascade. With the draw one. And the knife all enabled. But it worked out. Scorched Earth is a great draw. I can use that my next turn. We can lead with Priestess here. Yeah, we can go Scorched Earth next turn, I'm pretty sure. Oh, these aren't bad. None of them are bad. Right, they're invoke cards. They're all great. So we have... So we have, like, Garen over here. I kind of want to have the Warrior for, like, Garen and, and Leona, both. So Sharp Sight's a card I'm scared of, as far as attacking with, uh, with Zoe is concerned. So I wasn't going to attack with, with Zoe because of Sharp Sight. So if I play Warrior, I can block, but then I don't have any that I only have one mana left. Or if I go Mountain Goat plus Pill Cascade, we can block and then have two mana left so that if they use Pill Cascade or Sharp Sight or something, then I hush. Man, I wish I could play Shield Bearer and the Warrior. I'm gonna play the Warrior. Our sun will not set today. This world must burn. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Die weakly. Impossible. 
Anything is possible. All right, Eclipse Dragon will allow us to play Aurelian Soul next turn. The enemies of day will fall. Probably don't need to use a hush on that. It's okay. It's just a Solari Priestess. Not that big a deal. Take it all. Take it all. Bask in her radiant blessing. Mm. These are all pretty good. They're all pretty good. Maybe this one. We would have enough mana right now for the Skies Descend. Next turn, we'll have our 9 plus 2. That seemed like a, a pretty desperate way to get rid of a spell shield using that obliterate card. That's pretty desperate. There's only one true light. I mean, is this even worth it? I mean, we do clear up everything. It's possible it's not even worth it, though. Maybe I just played this thing? Okay. <laughs> they just concede. Yeah, I got a really soul. Time, Zoe Karma. So I feel pretty good about having Aurelian Soul against a Karma deck. Let's just keep one goat. We don't really need a second goat. Okay, I guess we'll have a second goat. Wanted to look for either our own Zoe or something to deal with their Zoe. Hush is perfect, but of course they get their super cool star chart to start with. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. I have the dragon pretty cool. Good. They have a good opener. I'm a serious artist now. <laughs> yeah, looks like a serious artist, I guess. Drawing all these butterflies. It's a lot of butterflies. Have one more mana for Priestess plus Pale Cascade. I guess you're a 3 1. Bask in her radiant blessing. Oh, gravity! Which side was upside again? Whichever way the paint drips, Zoe. I probably shouldn't allow the Spacey Sketcher to trade with the 1 1 or with the 3 1. That draw. I know these paths well. Ah, oh, they missed. I'll 
bit I'm too concerned about draglings. I think I'd rather kill the thing that makes their cards cost less. Alright, so I assume they go grab that card for themselves. No, they grab gem? Wow. Okay. Breathe in, breathe out. I was thinking that I wanted them to play other stuff before Zoe, but actually because I wanted to play like the ten cards with different names. Um I'm not attacking Zoe into Hush like they did. Zoe can chill and watch me create 10 cards. So I don't think I don't know if their Targon Ionia deck is going to have too much removal besides like invoke cards. But I'm not going to allow it get, to get hushed. Wait, where'd that Zenith Blade come from anyway? I guess they just have Zenith Blade in their deck? Or was it, was it created by Karma? What is I didn't pay close attention to that. It had to have been created by Karma, right? The question is, you know, if I'm at, I guess I attack first, you know. Okay, so we should have leveled up Aurelian Soul. There we go. They're about to have level of Karma. So Karma v Aurelian Soul, who wins? Zoe level up is at five. Five out of 10. We're halfway there. Whoa. Should be a very good cosmic inspiration if we are allowed to resolve that, if they don't deny it. I'm not really that concerned about Sky's Descend, right? Like, killing these draglings obviously doesn't matter. It gets rid of the spell shield and karma. Killing, like, these things is kind of whatever. So, like, for nine mana, it's not, like, that great of a Sky's Descend. Probably rather spend my mana doing other stuff right now. Maybe keep a really soul in case something weird happens with this one. Okay, well they just aren't doing anything. Did they just give up with leveled up a really soul? I guess they just gave up. Oh, nope. Okay, there we go. We're playing. First hush. Really? You didn't just do that right away? <laughs> Alright. But yeah, so as you saw there, they, they had... I think they probably had that hush for my Zoe. Thanks for letting me play a zero mana Cosmic Inspiration first. That was nice. Uh, I'll just go ahead and play you. Oh, I don't have the attack token. Right. I don't don't just get that all the time. Okay. Let's, uh, where are you at? You're at six. Pill Cascade's like my best card here, but I've already played Pill Cascade. I'm just kind of getting some different cards. For Zoe. So you're at eight. Nine. 
and mind as one. What is gained when you return malevolence? <laughs> so many Aurelian Souls. Oh, I've already played Aurelian Soul though. <clears throat> but I should probably just play it again. I've already played Cosmic Inspiration. I guess I'll take this Living Legends. Get 10 mana back. Refill my mana. Okay, I'll wait till next turn. Still gonna be pretty difficult for my opponent to win this. That makes it a real possibility, I guess. Maybe. They get like the obliterate two cards, they obliterate my Zoe and my Aurelian Soul. Alright, so this is zero mana. Le that levels up Zoe, because Zoe is at nine. And now we go draw we go draw a leveled up Zoe that costs zero mana. Alright, so it should cost zero. And so then I can play Zoe and then play Aurelian Soul. Now all of our things gain elusive, because Zoe had elusive. Now everything's gonna gain Fury and Spell Shield. They have Fury and Spell Shield. <laughs> and then I was gonna play zero mana Living Legends and get all of our mana back. And uh, I was about to grab the other Living Legends to be able to do that again. I mean, like, they're they're just so dead, right? Because then, then I also can play Skies Descend and wipe out their board. And then I, yeah, it's just, it's over. <laughs> okay, another Zoe deck. This time with Victor. Victor Zambrano. I'll just keep one Pale Cascade. Alright, that works. Good opener. Man, that was a name. I don't know why I just thought of Victor Zambrano. I haven't thought of that name in a while. I don't know if you're fans of the Chicago Cubs pitching staff and the mid-aughts. Alright, good job drawing Zoe. I also want to draw that card. I should have led with this, because then it could... You know, I guess I wouldn't have had the mana for Trickster, but... <clears throat> should have led with that. So I was... I, yeah, basically I just don't think like Scorcher is probably going to do that, that much. And so I was looking for the card to silence Ballistic Bond. Did not find it. The problem... So, I, so the Trickster can now block Zoe, but kind of the problem with that is they probably aren't going to attack. You know, so now I don't have like the Hush to kill Zoe, because they just won't attack. Hold still. 
You cannot sway me. So they go Pill Cascade here. Then I have to use, like, Hush. Because Pill Cascade on my side doesn't stop it. I think I just take the damage. Okay, Mountain Scryer. Help us out. This is looking pretty bad for me right now. Alright, that can kill a Zoe. Man, they're doing a great job drawing Ballistic Bot. Not looking great. But it's not over. And basically, if I, if I just get rid of the Zoe, we'll be doing a lot better. Good. Now I'm just putting down this ballistic bot down to being a 5-2 so they make them not want to attack with it as much. And I think I just hold on to star shaping. That'd be what I would discard with Spacey Sketcher. I think I'm just going to hold on to the star shaping and pass priority. Well, that's not so great. Speaking of not great. And here's where I paint my constellation. I could also like hush like these things to, to allow them to block. This worked out. That worked out. Can I paint you? Whatever. Safety disengage. I may want to play Hush. Bask in her radiant blessing. So playing that first before hand in the meteor shower is perfect. Okay, well, I guess I did let them have that then. Uh, let's see. Does that even make sense? Still have plenty of life. I'm not really in that dire straits of like these ignitions killing me. Mm. How'd they play Victor right here? Rats. <laughs> Look at that clip dragon. Got frozen. Yeah, I'm still at 12. So 
want them to play something else for me to meet, you know, to deal four damage to with a meteor shower. Besides just ballistic bond. I mean, it's maybe just this great beyond. Kill them. Yeah, I think so. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> Because again, I, th I think that we're doing just fine on life. I'm gonna have the star shaping. I think I'm doing just fine. Hmm. That one's more annoying. Now I don't have to play the meter shower this turn. What am I doing? I was good, like thinking I was gonna hush that, but what am I doing? I can't hush that. That's quite enough. <laughs> that thing has a spell shield. Oh well, I'll just trade it. Sorry, really, soul. Good news, I, I have all this stuff, so like I'm I'm still okay. Wife's just fine. <laughs> Not the best trade with a really soul, but that's okay. won't allow them to just sit back and continually deal all that damage to me. Uh, let's see. So that thing's a 3-5. Which one of you two do I want to play? Do I want to wait and get Nightfall? Like, do I want to Nightfall you, Eclipse Dragon? No, I'm just going to play this. It's an 11-8. Alright, that'll do. I was doing that to turn on the Nightfall so I could fill Cascade, which would put them down to one. That actually kind of worked like trading the Aurelian Soul there. Just not let them have like those zero mana cards and everything, keep our life total high, because like what, what was in our hand, like they weren't going to be able to defeat that top end with what we had anyway. So we really didn't need the Aurelian Soul, so it actually just worked out just fine. That was actually maybe a good trade. <laughs> it's kind of weird though. I, I kind of panicked because I just hit F4. Okay, there we go. I just did F4 instead of Alt F4 when the game froze. Yeah, we, we just played a game that we were definitely going to win. We were in the late game. We were definitely going to win it. So we should be 4-0 right now, but um, the game froze. And so I hit F4 and it didn't close. And so then I went to exit instead of just hitting Alt F4. I kind of panicked. I went too fast. And I guess if you hit exit, it automatically makes you lose. So lesson learned. For those of y'all watching later, just don't don't hit exit, hit Alt F4, otherwise you'll auto lose. Um. I think this is going to be a difficult matchup for us. The scouts, I obviously like the Scorched Earth. Um, So I'm gonna get rid of that. Paint is just accidental art. I think we have to be pretty fast. It's a great blocker. I'll trade Mountain Goat for Fleet Feather Tracker. I think. Maybe I don't even make that trade. Maybe I'll just pass here. Okay, well, obviously I pass now. I like that card. I just don't want to see Misfortune. That one's fine.
So do I hush this thing, or do I Pale Cascade this one? Maybe I just go the Pale Cascade and draw it. And they just keep they just keep their Flea Feather Tracker alive, but... i just do that. We're still at 20. I really want them to play the Grand Plaza. Hmm, Messenger or Immortal Fire? Kind of want to take this Immortal Fire. Um, we're a long ways away from casting it though, and maybe I, so maybe I need to play. Yeah, you know, maybe I need to get other stuff that we can play in between. I guess we're not as as far away from playing it. Because it would cost 7 instead of 8. As if I keep Mountain Scryer alive. Always forward. This is the wrong path. I'll just give me like something to do with the scorched earth, I suppose. Messenger believes it chases the trickster. You fight or you'll swim. Yeah, I didn't gem the two one because if I if I cast gem, if I gemmed it, then they could still challenge it with the flea feather tracker and kill it. But they just also had sharp sight. Back of a hand. All right, so I can use spell thief to grab a sharp sight. Of course, I'm, I'm planning on having a Scorched Earth kill the uh, Island Navigator. Grab that. I know I could grab Repost, but then I wouldn't have Hush available. I mean, I, I don't think that they would expect. I mean, they obviously didn't expect Scorched Earth. So they're out of cards in hand. I like where we are at with them out of cards. You know, Scorch Earth can take care of that thing. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. If they find a misfortune, I have a sunburst for it. Oh, I need. I guess I need Scorcher to take care of that instead. Paint your feelings. Follow the path. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just trade. Got more damage in, that's important. Yeah, there's no need to cast it. Like, I want to cast stuff, but I just shouldn't. Just don't need to. What's up, Zoe? It's a great draw. It's not, you know, like a really soul good, but... It's close. Cool, no sharp sight. And I could maybe do that next turn to, to again have the Nightfall on the Pale Cascade. Awesome. Another good draw. Um, this would not... I guess I'd have Hush. Okay. Yeah, I'll still have Hush. Let's see if they play something that's a challenger to kill Zoe. I wouldn't have Sunburst anymore, but okay. One turn later. No. I guess maybe the Supernova is the play. I don't know. They're all great. Man, Targon is incredible. All right, and go hard. Okay, predictions up. So yeah, we could have had a 5-0 if it wasn't for the disconnect. Um, not a great hand. I kind of want to keep one of these because, you know, two mana draw one. And I guess that's going to be guiding touch. Like, I could see keeping both, but we need to find early units. Uh, I'll keep both. We'll keep both. We'll keep one of each. Oh, that is not good. Not good. Okay, that's better. I can discard one of these star shapings. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. It's hard to get rich. We'll see what else we got though. Scryer. Do 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 do. Yeah. Mm. I guess they're a go hard deck. I, I should grab the two mana two two. Yeah, I wish I would have grabbed the the two two. Okay, I'm glad I didn't draw. I'm glad I didn't gra grab the two two now. Now next turn I can have like goat and charger. Living the life. <clears throat> our last time that we played against Go Hard, our opponent had all three Go Hards right away. Before, you know, like, they had all three of them. They played, like, the same turn. In their first ten cards. They weren't copies. Spell Thief could be really useful if we can, if we draw Spell Thief. And if Spell Thief, um, you know, hits Pack Your Bags. It's not always the easiest to hit Packer Bags because, you know, they they have to play, like, three Gohards first. And then they usually play other spells, like Blooms Beyond and stuff like that. So my plan this turn is to play, like, Scryer and Charger. Because Charger will cost zero mana.
Gucci says, remember people thought Zoe and Gohard would be hot trash. I, I don't know if... I just, I don't really know about, like, Go Hard if people have said that too much, but I definitely know that people are immediately just reading Zoe, and, like, the next day people are like, Zoe needs a buff. Which, gonna be further from the truth. If you think Zoe needs a buff, you just give it to Teemo instead. <laughs> Teemo needs that buff a lot more than Zoe does. None of these are bad. I know these paths well. Like, Traveler isn't always, like, the best, you know, like, it's gonna get... Yep. Like, they have the ability to uh, go, like, pack your bags with the Traveler. Um. The Charger chases stars across the sky. But it can block this escaped abomination. I figured it... I figured if they did have... Like, the Warrior matches up better against Gangplank, but they do have Gangplank, I do have Sunburst. I just want cheaper cards. Crumble. That's acceptable, I suppose. No doubt he sees to dogs in the hereafter. Yeah, I'll just turn around. I want to grab that written in stars. Because we're probably. So, written in stars probably grab Zoe, so it'd be like a 4 mana 3 3 Zoe. Let's do that. The meteor shower. Yeah, let's do that. The meteor shower also is not bad again. You know, like pack your bags <clears throat> is something they're about to have. Ways away. Go on, then. A little ways away from the Cerulean Soul. have packed your bags whenever they want. Doesn't make my life easy, that's for sure. Keep up, keep up. It doesn't make my life easy at all. None of these are really good enough. No. I should be attacking, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should be attacking. But I, I, okay, yeah. So I was gonna say like they're probably gonna use pack your bags pretty soon, right? Possible I should just be, uh, I should just be going to the next turn, but I, I want to find the zero mana 2-1 to get an additional blocker. And of course they could have a go hard for my danger noodle. But it puts me in a better spot than not having Danger Noodle. 
And that also is like one less go hard for, you know, like if I attack with, attack with just the 3-3, three, three, they block with this Brave in and then go hard. And I wouldn't have the opportunity to gem before that. But I guess I should just pass the turn. Played all this other really cool stuff. Come on, me. Down to one. There's too many expensive cards in hand. Just can't risk it. <clears throat> Just can't. You know, I never lost a fair game. Not exactly sure how we deal with all this. We need to draw we need to draw our one of spell thief. And then spell thief pack your bags. That's about my only hope right now. Um, or like if either of those, if either of those star shapings could have found the eight mana obliterate all all things with three or less, you know, power, that could have helped. But we didn't. I didn't see that in either one. I would have taken that in either one. If I play this. Mist, so I have Scorched Earth on top. Daylight star will rule the skies. As though day and night are not equal. Scorch Earth can kill that thing. Zero mana, might as well play it. Alright, come on, Spell Thief. You have to get lucky to draw Spell Thief, and we have to get lucky for it to hit the pack your bags. Ah. I don't need more six mana cards. Do not need more six mana cards. All right, Scorcher, that. Block. There. There and there. Or would I rather keep the Silver Sister alive? I can keep either Silver Sister or Mountain Scryer alive. I guess probably the Sister. Wait, but then that doesn't kill that. So yeah, I guess I'll block this way. Twisted Fate's at 4 out of 8. I either kill Twisted Fate or I play the Eclipse Dragon and, and, you know, get another Celestial and Dragon in hand. And that Celestial may be cheap. But then, you know, like, they are threatening leveling up a Twisted Fate. Um, it's, it's a tough call, honestly. Because I, I probably would have to kill the Twisted Fate the next turn anyway. So I think I should probably just kill that now. This is a tough call. Of which one to do. If I play Eclipse Dragon this turn, they draw a card. Yeah, I think I think I kinda have to, because otherwise next turn I'm just spending my turn just with some burst anyway. I guess I could maybe spend it with Supernova though. 
Talk silver, I talk. For gold, I kiss them. So that's number two. You're left with just so many go-hards. Now, after the, you know, fifth one they've played. But yeah, you can see, like, that Twisted Fate would be... Yeah, like, <laughs> it would have been leveled up. Yeah, it would have been leveled up. So I think that was good to kill that. I just need something cheap. Okay, good. Cheap. I like it. Um, yeah, I'm playing you. But then, oh, they definitely probably have another go hard. <sighs> Hopefully that's the only one. And we can make a super cool star chart. It's just so awkward having such an expensive hand. That's where you don't really need a really soul. Um, and both of our, like, you know, like I had the two star shapings that both of them missed. The, like, there's the one card I really need to invoke, the eight mana card. If either one of them hit the eight mana card that would have just um, obliterated their board, I think that we would have had a shot. You know, not necessarily a great shot, but, you know, we needed that. We needed that to happen for sure. And then, a, you know, like a Spell Thief, you know, would have been perfect, but, you know, Spacey Sketcher being able to discard an Aurelian Soul could have been good. We are, our hand was just too expensive, and it's not like our, you know, like we have 21 cards, half of the deck costs one or two mana, but I just, you know, I just had too much of this stuff. Unfortunately, I drew all three Star Shapings, I drew two of the three Aurelian Souls, the Eclipse Dragon, two Sunburst, right? So, like, I drew um, almost every single one of these cards that cost five plus Almost everyone, and we drew, you know, multiple of our... You know, do we draw all three Mountain Scryers? I think we might have drawn all three of those also. We drew at least two for sure. So basically everything that costs four plus in our deck, we drew. <laughs> we drew, like, uh, two or three of the cards total we did not draw out of those 14. We either didn't draw, like, two or three, but... Oh, well. So a 4-1, it should have been a 5-0 to begin with, but, you know, we had the one game that they had the, um, uh, that froze up. Like, after an attack, it just, like, the game froze. And uh, so we, we had to record a different game. So that's too bad, but it was it was in the late game. We were going to be winning that one. So we would have been 5-0 to begin with also. Um, Sky's Descend is too much mana. You don't, you don't need to play Sky's Descend. Sky's Descend, like... Yeah, you just don't need Skies Ascend. Just because you're an Invoke deck doesn't mean you play that card. Um, it would... It, like, rewards us for whenever we have... It's not easy to just have a bunch of Celestials in play. Like, even with a, an Invoke deck, that's not very easy. And whenever you do have a bunch of, bunch of Celestials in play, you're probably winning that game. It's just... It would have you lose... Like, the games that we lose are against aggressive decks, and kind of... Like, Gohard's not necessarily an aggressive deck, but they're able to go wide... And, um, you know, kill all of our things all the time, keep us in check. Um, Skies Ascend would not have helped in that game at all. It would have just been another dead card in hand. There's no there's no time I could have possibly cast a Skies Ascend either. And, like, those those are the games that we lose. This deck is already, like, Aurelian Soul is so powerful that you don't, you don't lose late games when you play Aurelian Soul decks. Um, you know, just for the most part. The kind of decks that Skies Descend is really good against, your like mid range and your like your mid range control kind of decks, like our decks awesome against them anyway, as we saw with those games. All right, but there we go. So that's that's Zoe Aurelian Soul. I liked this deck. I liked the Scorched Earth. Targon's just super powerful. You know, like you you can lose, as we saw there with that last game. You know, we didn't draw the best. They did a great job drawing Go Hard. Also, um, having so many of those early, so like it's just you know that like that kind of game. Like you can lose. But I think that just over the long haul, playing a whole bunch of Targon cards is really, really good as far as winning games right now. It's the best region, for sure. Hush was just, you know, Hush is just incredible. Pale Cascade was awesome. Um, Guiding Touch is kind of, eh. 
I, I could see this being a two of. I could see playing another spell thief instead of a third guiding touch. Honestly, um, that that could be a, a spot that you could you could maybe find another a better card. Um, Scorched Earth was awesome. I wouldn't mind playing a Culling Strike though too. Kind of talked about that. That could give you just a removal spell that doesn't cost six mana, and uh, pairs well with Hush if they you know try to buff up their thing. So I could see having one Culling Strike. Obviously, you're a Mountain Scryer deck, so you don't want very much. But I I wouldn't play more than three. Noxus cards, but I could see going to three. Or even just like a th third Scorched Earth. That's also a possibility. Um, uh, or, or again, you know, Spell Thief can get you more removal. So maybe maybe a second Spell Thief instead of the uh, third Guiding Touch. Um, or or even like, I, would, I wouldn't mind like another Shield Bearer or, another, or a Dusk Bringer instead of the guiding touch to give you just something like just give you another blocker early and i like dust puddle dust for eclipse dragon and and for discarding for spacey sketcher and and all that kind of stuff being another spell for zoe um i wouldn't mind that either but i i don't yeah so like basically i, I don't know if guiding touch needs to be a three of it's it's fine but it's not amazing it's just not very impactful and there's so much card advantage in this deck anyway it may not be that necessary to it's nice playing a copy or two it's a nice card but I don't know if you need all three. All right, but there we go. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Zoe, Aurelian Soul, Targon, just in general. How else are you playing these kind of decks? You know, anything like that. Give this one a try, you know, yourself. Like, I recommend trying out this list and playing this. And and if you do, I definitely want to hear from you. And let me know if you've been winning with it and if it if it looks good, if you've been having fun with the deck. I would, I would uh, like to hear about that. All right, but that's all I got here for Zoe, Aurelian Soul. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.